At first at four, a brutal winter storm is barreling down ahead of the busiest travel stretch of the year. This is a live look at the key airline hub of Chicago, where blizzard conditions and freezing temperatures are expected to hit. And this weather event is on track to have major impacts on flights nationwide. Already here at home, more delays at the Daniel K. Inouye International Airport. That's where Jonathan Jared Sapi joins us live with a first alert travel update. Jonathan. Hey, Mark, what do you say I show you around here? Not looking too bad just yet here in the Hawaiian Terminal. So let's head over here to ticketing. Some people trickling in right now for those evening flights, but honestly, I've seen it look a lot worse in past visits. But let me show you something that's sort of freaking people out a little bit. Look up at the board right now. I'm seeing a lot of red delays, and right now, Hawaiian Airlines is reporting 11 cancellations out of the 13 cancellations we're seeing right now at DKI. The other big concern, as you mentioned, that Arctic storm that's making its way to the Midwest right now. With more on that, here's CBS travel editor Peter Greenberg. Well, you'd like to think that simply because Christmas and New Year's falls on a Sunday. That allowed American travelers to really stagger their departure dates and their arrival dates. Most of them have already gotten to where they wanted to go. But for those last-minute procrastinators or for the folks who couldn't leave on time, you got a problem with weather. And even though the airlines are now offering waivers in some of these areas to be able to rebook your flights at no penalty, they're letting you rebook your flights at a later date. And what that often means is after Christmas. So you may be spending Christmas at home if you haven't been able to get out by now. All right, that's CBS travel editor Peter Greenberg speaking there. So this is how concerned travel experts are about this storm. It's being forecasted and called a winter storm that hasn't been seen on the mainland in a, a once in a generation type situation or event. Really, a lot of people are worried about Chicago because that's a key hub for a number of airlines. So we want to get the latest, your very latest first alerts on this situation. Let's turn things over to Ben Gutierrez with more on that. Thanks very much, Jonathan. A blast of very cold air already causing some flight cancellations on the continental U.S. with temperatures well below freezing over the next several days all the way from the Pacific Northwest down to Texas. A look at the next 48 hours shows that cold air moving south. Look what happens in Dallas-Fort Worth. 17 degrees tomorrow and then that Arctic air will continue eastward with temperatures plunging into the single digits or even below zero toward the Christmas weekend. Several weather alerts are up including winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings moving southward as the storm goes over Nebraska heading toward the Great Lakes region which is mainly under a winter storm warning already. Meantime here in the islands the weather has calmed down considerably. Very little showing up on satellite and radar. Mostly dry conditions are going to prevail well into the Christmas holiday weekend. The trade winds will also be on an extended holiday break with light winds from the west southwest coming in for the next day or two. We've got the reverse trade winds happening. I'll have your Christmas weekend forecast coming up in a few minutes. Thank you very much Ben. Hawaiian Airlines president says the company is cooperating with the federal investigation of Sunday's flight that hit severe turbulence. Flight 35 from Phoenix was rocked by the turbulence about 40 minutes before landing in Honolulu. 36 people were hurt with head injuries, cuts and bruises. Now that the NTSB is involved, Hawaiian's CEO Peter Ingram says he can't comment on the incident, but he did provide an update on the injured passengers and crew. So my, my understanding is uh, that the um, the vast majority of the people who did um, suffer some injuries are doing uh, much better. I know there are a couple of folks uh, who are, are still uh, facing uh, a, a bit of a road to recovery. And I, I can't talk, uh, uh, I don't have all the details on that because those are private medical matters. But, um, you know, we're, we're absolutely um, there to offer um, whatever support we can for, for those folks. Hawaiian says it's also conducting a thorough inspection of the plane involved before returning it to service.